What's going on everybody? This is the Roaming Prepper, Pete here. As you can hear, I'm outside right now and uh, I've got a bunch of wind going on, but I decided in honor of the Texas freeze, I'd get one of these, which we really didn't need when uh, we lived down on the coast because it never really got that cold, but it does get cold here and apparently we get a good ice storm and Texas gets screwed up. So just as a precaution before everyone else thinks about it, I wanted to test one of these out. So I picked one up and uh, that's what we're gonna do today. I'll be right back. Okay gang, so this is the uh, little buddy 3800 BTU heater. It is, uh, it is a propane based heating system and it is from a company called Mr. Heater. Now I looked online and these ranged anywhere from $70 to $120. I found this one at a local Walmart for $62, which wasn't bad at all. And the whole purpose of this thing isn't to make the house hot in the event of a blackout during a freeze, but instead what I want to do is basically have something to kill the chill. So even if we're walking around in you know sweatpants and hoodies, um, we're not going below freezing. We're, we're keeping one room manageable. So we're going to give this a whirl and see how it works. Also, this will be plenty good if we're out in the field somewhere. So um, let's start opening it up. The first thing you're going to see is um, that it says it does have a new and improved tip-over safety switch, which is important for this kind of system. Um, if you have older heaters, some of them do not have the tip over shutdown and some of them do not have the oxygen level uh, shutdown so this one supposedly has both so I'm gonna read through the instructions and but not in Espanol because that's I can read Spanish but that's a pain in the butt for me so I'm gonna read through it and then we're gonna try it out and see how it works and I'm doing it outside in case I have a problem I'm not burning my house down uh, give me a second and we're gonna go unbox here in a minute Alrighty, so I took a read through this. Important thing to note, even though it does have safety features, including the oxygen level indicator and the tip over safety switch, it's important to remember not to use these in an unsupervised way. Do not leave them around children or pets such as mine um, and to use it with good ventilation. So I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, so we will remove that part of the box and basically what we have is the heating element and a base uh, a base component right here so this is where this uh, uh, propane will go as you can see and um, it also states that you should um, make sure the area around it is clear so what we're gonna do now is um, I'm going to uh, take the cap off of this old propane bottle. And it's good to also inspect your propane bottles. Uh, this one has a little bit of rust. This is kind of old. So that's part of the reason why I'm using it. Um, you want to make sure that they're not leaking, cracked, anything like that. This one, I can still feel the weight of the uh, propane in it. So I'm going to attach these two together. And keep it away from your face. Uh, you notice I'm pointing it kind of at an angle. There we go. So in the event this thing were to, um, the pressure were to launch this canister would go away from me. It might hurt my hand, but it won't hit me in the face. And we will mount this bad boy right here. So according to this, push to light. After 30 seconds lit, release to start heater. Oh, yeah, the pilot light is lit. I don't know if you guys can see that. Let's bring the camera a little closer. Um, there is a pilot, there is a flame at the bottom. You can barely see it in the sunlight. 
but it's down there. And uh, I guess that's it. Wow, that's really simple. So, oh wow, yeah, you can. I can see the heat waves coming off of the thing. Let me adjust my camera here a second. And there goes, uh, right up here, I can feel the heat. So, that was it. Wow, very straightforward. Um, so supposedly, so the, it has this ceramic disc and I get uh, the gas will kind of filter through and it heats this disc. And uh, the disc is then what radiates the heat forward. It's really not just the flame, it's the cumulative heating of that disc. But yeah, this is a, yeah, I can feel the heat. Oh, paper kind of freaked me out. Well, let's take a look at it. So it's very simple design. As you can see, it can be lifted like this. You have the on, you hold it. It should light the pilot, which it did. I can see the flame in there. And uh, then to kill it, you push the off button and hold it. And in theory, yeah, the pilot light is off. So let's try that again. We're gonna zoom in a little, let's see. And again, we're in the sunlighty, sunlit area, so. There's the pilot light. It says hold for 20 to 30 seconds. So it will heat this disc. That disc will then radiate the heat outward. That's it, guys. This was a very simple demo. Uh, much simpler than I was expecting when I, uh, when I bought the thing. And then you press this to kill it. And uh, that's that. You can then visually inspect. And here the pilot is on the bottom. Um, it does work off of your classic uh, one pound Coleman and or other uh, propane tank. And in reality, the entire assembly maybe weighs five pounds of that. It's not heavy. It's got a little weight to it. Um, it does have an oxygen sensor in case uh, oxygen is running low. It will actually turn this device off. On top of that, it, as I mentioned before, it does have a tip-over sensor. So that's it, guys. This is a very straightforward uh, device, and um, this should come in handy for uh, any freezes or cold weather. And honestly, the heat it gave off, I could probably use it outside during uh, sitting in the patio watching football games. Guys, this is probably one of the easier show and tells I've done. Um, as I mentioned, the device has two buttons. You screw in a propane tank, and that's about it. Now, it does recommend uh, when you're done using it, detach it from the propane tank. The propane has a little um, self-closing valve to make sure that's closed. Put a cap on it. It also recommends to store the propane away from appliances or any kind of heat source, which is just common sense. Although, unfortunately, I'm pretty confident people will have hurt themselves uh, because they didn't do that. Guys, straightforward device, 65 bucks with tax. Um, not a bad thing to have. Again, after the blackout in Texas in the beginning of 21, um, having something like this, it won't heat a whole living room, but it'll definitely warm the room sufficiently so that it's manageable. And that's the whole goal is to prevent the house from going into the freezing temperatures. My house is new, it has really good insulation. So um, in all the walls, even the garage is insulated, which is attached. So this would be a very handy device to have. So folks, until next time, I hope this was useful. If you're on the road or traveling, Godspeed to everyone else. Be ready, pay attention, and help someone out if you can. Stay righteous and stay safe. I will talk to you later.